Yo, what's up guys? So as you probably expected, ML Charlotte or Little Queen Charlotte review. And uh, gonna be using her in Guild Wars this time. These are my stats, testing this build out, running speed immunity with artifact as Durandals, 2.9k attack, a little bit lower than what I would like, 1.5k defense, 13.5k HP, 151 speed, 86 crit, 251 crit damage. And the reason why I actually have higher defense than lower health is the fact that none of her skills scale off HP. Her skill 3 heals, so in this case, I can probably get a little bit more health back while she'll still take less damage with the defense instead of just having high HP. Alright, so let's get to the key points. 1. ML Charlotte is not easy to gear. Because of the fact that she has no crit awakenings and you do want to run speed immunity, which in my opinion is pretty important as you don't want her to get CC or locked down in the beginning, then you want speed immunity, you're going to be losing out on a lot of crit. Um, she's a really good unit for Bruiser unit for Guild Wars in my opinion. A little bit more difficult to use in RTA right now currently in the meta. But artifacts that you can use on her, Durandal, Secret Scythe, Elspeth, Hellcutter, or Alencia Nox Wrath. And Alencia's Nox Wrath is really good for ML Charlotte if you're missing out on that crit. Long story short, I feel like it's a fun unit, I love using her, but high requirements in my opinion to really make use of her here. Alright, so let's get into the Guild Wars, let me show you how I tried using her. Alright, first battle, Karak, Yufin, ML Charlotte, using ML Charlotte to tank the Assassin Koli and ML Ken. Karak to outspeed and reset Assassin Koli if necessary, we get the outspeed so we're going to use skill 2 on her. Even if we didn't reset, we're okay, since we're running immunity on ML Charlotte, she wouldn't have gotten stunned. But Assassin Koli does less damage now. Alright, ML Charlotte, we get a turn, we're gonna use skill 3 on ML Ken here. Yeah, we'll see if we can kill him. If we can't, I doubt we're gonna die because we're gonna heal a bit from this, and then we still have our passive and our ML Charlotte's somewhat tanky. So we don't get the kill but we don't die to ML Ken either. We take about half HP. Crowd goes. All right, with Karak here, we can't skill three because if we crit on ML Ken, we're dead. All right, Durandal pushes us up. ML Charlotte, we get another turn. Unfortunately, we can't hit either ML Ken or Assassin Koli, so we got to skill one on Crow. And with Euphine here, we're going to Soul Burn on skill 3. We're not going to kill Crow because in this case, Crow is on Holy Sacrifice, so we have to take care of the ML Chem first. Then we have our skill 2 to pop Assassin Koli out of stealth. We couldn't use skill 3 on Crow and skill 2 on ML Chem and Assassin Koli because ML Chem would have killed us if we didn't kill him through the defense buff. Skill 3 on Karak just to do a bit of damage. ML Charlotte gets pushed up. We can kill the Assassin Koli. And now we're in a bit of a dilemma because we know Crow is on Holy Sacrifice. My Yufin goes, defense break, and my Karak does get a turn. We try to get the reset here with skill 2 so we can stop Crow's horse, but um, we do have elemental disadvantage. Unfortunately, we miss, so we're not able to reset Krau. So even though we get a turn here, we're killing Krau. Kyrek is dead because Krau is going to Holy Sacrifice, revive, and then kill Kyrek. So unfortunately, a bit of a sacrifice there. We still do win the battle though. Alright, second battle, using Oxlots, Sermia, and Mel Charlotte. Using Sermia here to take care of the Violet. And then ML Charlotte to tank the Fallen Cecilia and the Aravi. Skill 3, we'll kill the Violet, take care of that issue. And Fallen Cecilia goes. 
just gonna use skill one here since they have skill nullifier, no point using skill three. We get Elbrus, but we have immunity, so we're okay. Oxlots, just gonna skill one, pop the skill nullifier here. A Ravi uses skill three onto ML Charlotte. And we take a decent amount of damage with that. But we have a skill three up, and we're just gonna use skill three on A Ravi here. Doesn't do that much damage because Aravi does have her passive up. And since this is an ML Charlotte showcase or review wise, we're not gonna bother pushing Sermia up. We're gonna push ML Charlotte up instead with our skill two. Um, and we're gonna use our skill one here. On to Fallen Sicilia. But Sermia is having none of that. She says, take me along. Unfortunately, Sermia helps us nuke Fallen Sicilia for quite a bit. Kill Fallen Cecilia there with Sermia and with Oxlots, just gonna skill one onto A Ravi. Same for ML Charlotte here. And A Ravi is on a counter set, so we're gonna take a bit of damage. And over the last two battles with ML Charlotte here, I've come to realize that Sigurd Scythe is a pretty good artifact to be put on ML Charlotte because you only heal with skill three right now. Having a bit of healing on skill one is not bad, especially when you're taking damage or using her as a light bait or something just do more damage and heal over time on your skill one all right easy second battle all right third battle using ml charlotte here to tank an assassin sid using my a ravi to tank their ml charlotte and then we have dm for the healing as we expect assassin sid is going first he uses skill three our right, ml charlotte take the damage doesn't matter we're gonna have immunity gonna skill three if we don't miss we get to kill assassin sid force a revive from well we get the kill, and we also heal ourselves. DN skill three just to give ourselves attack buff and the crit resistance buff. As we expect, roll revives Assassin Sid here, so it, now we waste that revive. We don't need to worry about it. And ML Charlotte here, skill three onto my A Ravi. Unfortunately. Crit resistance doesn't go off here, so we still get crit. Takes about almost half our HP away, but we still survive here because we're tanky. We're gonna use skill one on ML Charlotte here, just to chunk away at her first. Seems a little bit squishy. She probably has high HP, lower defense, since we saw that she had 17k HP. DN, skill two, just to heal our A Ravi. Assassin Sid goes on our ML Charlotte. Doesn't matter, we're just gonna skill one. Get ourselves immunity here, so we don't need to be afraid of getting defense broken later. ML Charlotte uses skill one on our A Ravi. DN, just gonna help do a little bit of damage to Assassin Sid here. And A Ravi, we're also just gonna chunk away at the ML Charlotte there. And in this case, ML Charlotte's so low already, might as well finish her off instead, since there's also no revive, take care of the threat. And Assassin Sid goes. We have immunity, so we don't care. We're not gonna get silenced, we're not gonna get pushed back. DN, we're just gonna heal ourselves a bit again, give ourselves attack buff, crit resistance. Emil Shot, we have skill three up. Assassin Sid does have the evade buff up, so we're most likely gonna miss here. Prox Moonlight Dream Blade. We almost get the kill, but not enough. Skill one on A Ravi, finish him off. And Ruel's only one left. Smooth sailing from here on out. So, just to talk a little bit more about ML Charlotte here. Overall, really good unit right now in Guild Wars, in my opinion. Um, not for every single battle, but any battle with a decent. Any battle with a dark unit that does damage, she can probably be a light bait for that. Unless it's like, for example,. Dark Corvus, then you probably don't want to take the full brunt of Dark Corvus' skill 3. Otherwise, you're most likely going to die. So on my ML Charlotte, we're using Durandals, which is a pretty good artifact. Um, as tested, Sigur Scythe would also be a pretty good artifact for her too, but I do like the combat readiness, since my ML Charlotte is not nearly as fast as I want it to be. If my ML Charlotte was around 180 speed, then I think Sigur Scythe would be something I would definitely consider using more often. 
but in this situation here, I still like Doran Doe's a little bit more for myself. Immunity, pretty important in my opinion, as especially if you're using her as a light bait, you don't want to get stunned, you don't want to get silenced, you don't want to get defense broken early on and nuked. Alright, well, that was it for ML Charlotte. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave comments below. See you next time.